As a digital marketing agency, clients come to us saying they don't have enough leads, they're not making enough sales, but they have a great product and they're frustrated. And the reason why they're frustrated is they're not seeing the whole picture and understanding how to get a customer right through the whole journey from meeting them right to the end. And here's what we found. We found there's a really simple approach that if you're a coach or a consultant, speaker, author, if you've got something that really serves people in a transformation, something really unique. Look, we spent about $100,000 a week on different Facebook ads and Google and YouTube. And then we discovered this last year in 2018. There was a massive shift in the Facebook algorithms, a massive shift on YouTube, massive shift with Instagram, but also a massive shift in the market. And so what worked in previous years, it really stopped working for us in the middle of last year. And we had to really hustle to figure this out. And so I wanna explain it to you in detail on this video. So first we have to understand the customer journey. It starts off at the beginning here, where someone becomes aware. After they become aware of who you are, they then decide to engage with you. They then become a subscriber. Now, most of us know this, and the, the old way was to write an ad, to have them click, and then have them to opt in. Now, once they subscribed and they opted in, this then allowed us to then move them down here to nurture, slash educate and then to turn them into a buyer and then a happy client. Okay, and so the old way was once they opted in, we would nurture engage. So we would send a bunch of videos, value videos. We would get them to some sort of webinar or sales page and eventually they would buy or go away. They would work with us and then become happy. Now this is the old model. And the truth is, is what happened is this keeps getting more and more and more expensive and really cutting into our margins to the point where people start thinking, do Facebook ads even work? You know, what's the answers, Chris? How does this happen? And so since we're spending so much, we were able to see the differences and what actually had to happen. So the first thing that you must shift is no longer do you want to do short ads. So it used to be short, quick ads. Now you want to do long. You want to create long ads. You want to spend more time with the customer. The next thing is when you engage with somebody here, this is actually done in one now. So instead of getting the ad and the click, the ad is actually bigger, so the click isn't so important. Instead of aiming for cheap clicks and having your sales page do all the work, like I'm told that it's all the rage about funnels for the last three or four years, and the truth is, is you need to be taking a lot of that off the sales page, off the opt-in page and putting it into your ad and meeting them right at the beginning. Then what's interesting is this opt-in is crucial. It used to be that people would give you anything. Now, instead of us worrying about anything else, if you're a high ticket seller, the one thing that we want you to do is get on the phone. Not get on the phone, but instead of using email, you need to get on their phone. There's two ways to do this, SMS and using Facebook Messenger. We see 87% open rate on Facebook Messenger and 100% open rate on SMS. Now, if you compare that to email, you're down at two, three, five, sometimes if you're really good, 10% open rate. This means you're actually getting people to see what they're opting in for. Now here's what comes next is we used to do, do this and we used to send it to them. Now we can no longer do that. People know they can get free information everywhere. So instead, instead of sending this to their email, now what we're doing is we're using retarget campaigns to actually chase that person around the internet with only one goal, which is to become top of mind. Now, can you see the shift already? The first shift is from a short ad to get a cheap click to a big long ad that we're not so worried about the, the click, get aware and engage right there. Instead of opting in the old way with name, phone, and email, now we're getting people to opt in just with phone. We get their phone or we get messenger, so they opt in there and then it shows up right on their phone. So that's where it goes. Then this here, this bit here is actually t 
taken right out. This nurture and educate no longer fits in our funnel. This works afterwards. We go straight from here to see whether or not people want to buy. They get what they opt in for and we move them straight to buy fast. What we've found is that people who look at a really long ad, a long video like this one, a long written ad, and then click, they're way more interested. The old way was get quick clicks and then do all the work afterwards. The new way is get a small amount of clicks but do all the work up front, move people quickly through to where they can purchase from you, and if they don't, then go follow them around and retarget. The shift was real. When we implemented this shift, we did one thing and it made all the difference to get people here off the phone. And that's exactly what I want to explain to you in a video. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how this works and how you can make it work in your consulting business, in your speaking business, in your coaching business, in your high ticket selling business, whatever it is. We're using this right now in our gyms. We're using this right now in our education, our consulting, our coaching. I'm going to give you demonstrations, case studies of exactly how to sell high ticket on Facebook using a long form ad, using an opt-in to either messenger or to the phone, and then skipping out the education, getting them straight into a quick video and asking them to take some action. It is mind blowing, mind blowing how this is working. So get the video right now, click on the link. There is nothing to buy on the video. There's no sale, there's nothing like that. So just don't worry about that at all. When you click, I'll ask whether or not you want me to send it to your Facebook or send it to your phone and you can choose or send it there, you can watch the video and then please come back and let me know if you liked it or not. So click the link and grab the video.